Before we go on, note this. I am not a game designer. I just play this, this game. Guilty Gear Strive. I have about as much authority as, you know, some chud at the bar watching the Buccaneers game. <laughs> I'm just a Nago player. The one opinion that I'll put in this, you know, talk is, yeah, he's really good. I would say he's the best character in the game. But whatever my opinion is, or whatever your opinion is, is not meaningful. Again, because number one, we're not video game designers, and number two, uh, we are not Japanese. So now, now that we establish that foundation, I'm writing this from the perspective of settling with fact. What is it that makes Happy Chaos strong? So it's not just one thing, it's not two things, it's actually a bunch of things. Some strong individually, but they just come together in a very special way. Another aside, if you're in the YouTube comments, this, this is you, okay? In the YouTube comments with your Michelob Ultra, all right, armchair, you know, with, with your beer, and you have the gumption to get on your keyboard and type, well, what about Soul uh, Volcanic Viper, or what about Leo HDP in back turn? Stop. Okay? Just stop. We don't care. There's a time and a place. This isn't even gonna be the place to complain about Happy Chaos. This is just to establish the facts. How do you, how would I describe Happy Chaos? If you've ever seen Hunter x Hunter, you know how there's like, you know, different Nen types. Sometimes there's enhancers, and then, you know, another character is a transmuter. Happy Chaos is a specialist Nen type. He can just, it seems like some days he can do anything. Sometimes he's a rushdown character, other times he's a mid-range monster, then at other times he's a full-screen zoner, and then he can turn up into a mix-up character with looping wall sticks. I mean, this, this is what I see. This video is to answer the question from the perspective of a top-level tournament player. That's me, unfortunately. Sorry, Nago. Right. What is it that makes Happy Chaos so strong? So, we can talk about these one by one, starting with the meter game. The way Happy Chaos uses meter makes him very difficult to contest once he's ahead, to say the least, and incredibly lethal once he gets in the head. A pixel away, and yet, at full screen, this could be so difficult for him. What one. touch could he possibly get? That corner's in the way, he just needs one six S. And he's gonna get shot here. When we show building up enough meter, next hit is gonna do it. Looking really rough. Rolling yeah, forward that's too, it. and just like that, Umi shows. I mean, well, I mean, this this is guilty gear, right? A character should feel strong with meter. This is what the game is all about. You know, you, have you ever been in the corner against Jacko with like the minions and the power up super, and then she whistles? Like, yeah, it's horrifying. However, Happy Chaos also has the best meter generation ability in the game. Any touch, any hit. He does with even 60% focus and two bullets, maybe, will lead to a combo that takes you from anywhere on the screen, potentially to the corner, ending in either him doing a meaty curse ball and recovering resources while you soft tech or wall sticking you where <laughs> he will also regain resources and push you through the wall and get positive bonus. This combo will give him nearly 50% of your life bar or more even on heavyweights. It can be 2K2D, it could be 5P, 2S, 5S, steady aim, a clean hit steady aim, anything. What about if he's not comboing you, right? It doesn't matter. The, the meter gain is unrivaled while he's doing anything, besides blocking, that is. If he's doing his, you know, happy chaos, Romola spam thing, you know, shooting the gun across the screen for 40 seconds, these block strings are incredibly arduous and elongated. And while he's doing it, he is getting an insane amount of meter. The, the chances where you can actually interrupt or counterplay this are very rare and deadly, but they do exist. They do exist. Uh, it's less so from full screen. The way that this works is because doing special moves in Guilty Gear Strive gives you a ton of meter, and the act of Happy Chaos going into stance, shooting, throwing a curse, shooting, reloading, shooting, reloading, throwing a curse, like just there's there's a big differential from what the Happy Chaos player is generating compared to what another character would generate if they were being so active. What is problematic is that for blocking all of this, the opponent gets a fraction of the meter that Happy Chaos 
Chaos games per like interaction on block. I would say it's less than a quarter. There are rounds where Happy Chaos will generate over 100% meter, the whole bar, oh, more than that, just from doing pressure while the opponent will, maybe they'll gain 20% meter. That's not even enough to get past the N on the tension bar. So if you don't happen to get in on Happy Chaos while he has a lull in his meter game from doing his focus super, because that's all he's going to spend meter on. There's, there's nothing else, really. He doesn't have to do the super unless it's going to kill. He may just get the meter to do it all again and again and again or you will probably just get chipped out before you get in at that rate due to the way happy chaos works if happy chaos whiffs a button in neutral he can press the h button to potentially cover himself and punish your with punish it's crazy. Say, for example, Happy Chaos uses 2S in neutral against Ramlodol, and it's an air ball. Happy Chaos completely whiffs it. Nothing doing. Happy Chaos can just time the shoot on the H button to hit Ramlodol at the timing that she would go to to punish with 5S, and may even get a combo off of it. Now, there's some counterplay associated there. Like, say, Ramlodol is instead of moving in, instead of going for a button punish, the cursor will whip. And it's also a random chance that this will happen uh, unless the opponent is cursed then it's going to happen most of the time if you played against happy chaos you're you're probably gonna be cursed for most of the match uh, this makes it to say the least very inconsistent to attempt to create an outplay against a happy chaos player in neutral by making him with his buttons happy chaos has the ability to shoot his gun during the active frames of the curse, you know, volleyball toss, making it so that you can't avoid the curse ball toss at all or approach Happy Chaos, lest you risk eating a big combo. A very smart Happy Chaos player will merely not throw the curse ball unless he can chain it into a clean hit shot and focus. This is called the curse jail. You can't jump. You can't move, you can't do anything. This is context sensitive depending on the spacing on the screen where Happy Chaos does this because the curse ball has travel time, but there's almost no counterplay to avoid curse with this setup. It's guaranteed. Happy Chaos having a guard break on his steady aim clean hit shot is particularly disruptive since it's so advantageous that it can eat your inputs and if you're in the air when Happy Chaos shoots the clean hit shot, since it's a guard crush, it actually flings you back all the way across the screen, uh, resetting any progress he made to getting in. Now for this next section, there's going to be a lot of math, but pay close attention. In short, Happy Chaos's reload ability is that the math of it makes it incredibly powerful and threatening. While he's doing zoning or pressure, if he lands a clean hit shot, again, the guard crush, on block, he can reload one bullet and be plus 20, reload two bullets and be plus 11, and three bullets and be plus two. For all intents and purposes, Happy Chaos's bullets may as well not even be a meaningful limiting resource. The actual meaningful limiting resource that he has is the focus bar. As long as Happy Chaos has focus, he can almost true block string you in the corner, prevent any forward movement while zoning, and he has infinite ammo, all the while chaining clean hit shots on block if he wills it. It's especially strong while zooming since Happy Chaos doesn't have to just reload one bullet when you're chaining clean hit shots. Happy Chaos can just decide to reload the whole clip. You sort of have to respect Happy Chaos by moving up patiently. The difference between one bullet and the second bullet if you're looking to get in is almost ambiguous. You're almost never going to react to Happy Chaos just reloading a ton of bullets in a greedy way you may just have to commit hard when you get the chance, but if you're wrong, you're likely to lose your life thanks to the uh, combo ability that he has. Also, this is this is a personal bugbear, but still facts, the reload animation is not counter hit after startup, making potential outplays of this greed on Happy Chaos's part much less impactful. Happy Chaos's buttons, his normals, 
are best in class when it comes to hitbox and hurtboxes, making it very tenuous for any character to try and fight him at mid-screen, button to button. 2S. This normal has a disjoint and displaced hurtbox. Then there's 2K, which sports a low profile. 5S, with his huge range and disjointed hurtbox. 2D, with his forward moving hitbox. 6S, comboing from 5P. 6P, with his very deep head invincibility and length of active frames. The character has a button for every situation, and if he doesn't want to interact like that, uh, he can just go into steady aim. And if any of those buttons hit, you get a combo that nets you at least 50% of somebody's life in most cases. If Happy Chaos whiffs these buttons, they can just cover their whiff with the gunshot potentially, and that's much more likely to happen in Curse. So with everything together, Happy Chaos also has access to some of the best round start warward in the game, bar none. Doesn't matter on normal hit, or on block, or on counter hit, any touch from Happy Chaos, round start, results in a wall break. Whereas if you don't manage to hit the opponent, you can just retreat with curse to begin the zoning or run and shooting with mashing the H button to continue the pressure and force a throw or a combo into 2k 2d. I mean, the, that's the easiest thing to deal with, right? Most characters have an option tree to interact with chaos at round start, but if they're wrong, it's way more devastating than being wrong versus other characters. As an aside, Yes, this is a trait that is shared with Nagaryuki where it is equally powerful. As for what is the most oppressive thing or what would we fix, again, we're not doing that here. You can make your own judgment yourself for what is the strongest thing about him. This video is just to spell out the facts clearly. Again, you're probably not going to run into this level of execution in your general, you know, netplay gameplay since Happy Chaos falls apart very quickly once inconsistency and execution errors occur. That's it. That's all I got. Y'all be good.